Celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month by Marissa Orgullo. Here's the contents page. There's a lot to get through. Cultural Pride. Hispanic Heritage Month is a time for all Americans to celebrate Hispanic culture. Culture is the way people live. Hispanic people mark this festival by honoring special traditions from their background. Traditions are way of doing things that have been passed down over time. Remembering traditions helps people stay connected to their families, roots, and the countries that they came from. Hispanic Heritage Month is a time for all Americans to celebrate what Hispanic people have given to the United States. Hispanic Heritage Month takes place in the United States from September 15th to October 15th. These dates were chosen because autumn is a time when several Latin American countries celebrate their independence from Spain. Some of these nations are Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Mexico, and Chile. In 1988, the U.S. government made it a time for the country to honor all Hispanic Americans. These dancers are celebrating the day Chile marks its independence from Spain. There are many Hispanic people living in the United States and each family has its own story about what brought them here. Many live in places that were once part of Mexico. Others came from Central America, Mexico, or the Caribbean. Some were in search of better lives. They wanted to find safety or freedom. Some Hispanic parents chose to come to America in search of better schools for their children. The number of Hispanic families in the United States is growing higher each year. Today, 17.8% of people in the United States are Hispanic. That's more than one in every six Americans. Many Hispanic people live in the Southwest and in large Midwestern and Northeastern cities. Like other Americans, Hispanic people have many types of jobs. They're doctors, chefs, business people, and reporters. Some Hispanic people work in the United States as teachers. Hispanic heroes. Hispanic people have done some amazing things for the United States. From the 1950s to the 1980s, a Mexican-American named Cesar Chavez helped gain rights such as fair pay and safe places to work for farm workers. The first Hispanic U.S. Supreme Court Justice is Sonia Sotomayor. Her family is from Puerto Rico. Sonia Sotomayor became the first Latina Supreme Court Justice in 2009. Did you know that many sports players and actors are Hispanic? Tony Romo was a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. He was one of the first Hispanic people to lead an NFL football team. Selena Gomez is a Mexican and Italian American actress and pop star. You may have heard her songs on the radio. She has sold over 7 million albums. Selena Gomez started out acting in the kids television show, Barney and Friends. She was only nine years old. Hispanic Americans have given a lot to the art, music, and dance communities in the United States. Hispanic artists paint, draw, and take pictures. Salsa is a type of dance and music, and it has roots in the Caribbean. The tango and other types of dance came out of Argentina. Hispanic culture has had a huge effect on the American arts. In this picture, you can see an Argentinian man and woman dance the tango. Marking Dia de la Raza, or Day of the Race. This day takes place on October 12th and marks Christopher Columbus's arrival in the Americas. In the years that followed, Europeans killed many native people and wiped out many cultures. On Dia de la Raza, people remember and celebrate the parts of native culture that survived. In the United States, this used to be called Columbus Day. It is now shifted to be called Indigenous People's Day. Many people celebrate Dia de la Raza by honoring their culture. So there's this woman wearing traditional clothing from Peru. There are many ways to learn about Hispanic culture. You can visit a museum and see Hispanic art. You can listen to music. You can learn a dance or watch a movie. You can even learn some of the Spanish language. There are many fun ways to learn about Hispanic culture all year long. Celebrating other Hispanic holidays helps you learn more too. In this photo, friends are celebrating the Day of the Dead. 
Hispanic Americans have played an important part in U.S. history. Our country is better because Hispanic American families have shared so much of their rich heritage. The culture is worth celebrating during Hispanic Heritage Month and all year long. This last part is a glossary, and I hope you take a moment to read over the words.